Kansas anymore. Dude, you got yeah, the yeah, chicken salad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're holding it together for now, but the truth is, you're frightened. It's been so long since you've tried to focus like this. Do you want to be entertained? Get to work. I really struggle with just working full time. Sit back and enjoy the ride and contemplate your ridiculous life decisions. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Simon Cowell is returning to Britain's Got Talent in January following his terrible back injury this summer. Simon was forced to step down from the talent show and its American counterpart after undergoing surgery on his broken back following a terrifying electric bike accident in August. But after months of recovering at his LA home, Simon has given producers a guarantee of his comeback and is apparently raring to go. A source told The Sun, Simon was gutted at having Having to sit out the show this year, but he's been totally focused on getting better and will definitely be back on the panel. Friday on the talk, Dr. Phil had some quarantine tips. Right now, while we're in quarantine, that doesn't mean isolation. And I think people really need to use every tool they have to reach out to other people. And even if they do it electronically or if you find somebody that you think is really on their own and maybe they're lonely, go knock on their door. And uh, Robin has really done something over the years, even when we weren't in quarantine, uh, where she shares family recipes. She writes them out by hand and would go up and down the street and just put them in people's mailboxes uh, just to say, hey, just wanted to share something from our family to yours that's brought a lot of joy over the years, whether it's Christmas cookies or a certain kind of pound cake or something really fun. But just reach out and, and give away what you need the most. If you're feeling lonely, find somebody more lonely than you and give them what you need. I promise it'll fill you up. It's time for Things I've Learned from Seinfeld. To me, government is basically parents for adults. Especially the IRS. The IRS is like Ward and June Cleaver. And we're all Wally and the Beaver. And your accountant is Eddie Haskell showing you all these neat tricks to get away with stuff. Which is fine unless you get audited. Then you don't want some wise guy in a suit just standing there going, you have a very lovely office here, sir. Because jail is the government's way of sending you to your room. And when you meet Whitey and Lumpy in the joint... There's really going to be something wrong with the beaver. That's it for Things I've Learned from Seinfeld. Joe Biden at a speech in Detroit yesterday called Trump Putin's puppy. When reached for comment, puppy said, hey, don't drag us into Trump's criminality. Meanwhile, the only good news Trump heard today is that the McRib is back. New study confirms that when we sleep, the brain uses cerebrospinal fluid to wash away toxins. Well, that explains why my pillow is always wet. Three idiots were busted trying to cook chicken over the thermal springs in Yellowstone National Park. Ah, yes, nature's Instapot. Americans purchased 17 million guns in 2020, so as long as we don't sell these morons any bullets, we should be okay. Time for Nobody Gives a Fuck. New survey finds many parents feel overwhelmed by information when it comes to their children's nutrition. Here's the only thing you need to know, parents. Vegetables. Hey, Brussels sprouts. Nobody gives a fuck. Lori Loughlin has begun her two-month sentence for her conviction in the college admission scandal. Filming of Hallmark's Not Home for the Holidays begins next week. Hey, Aunt Becky, nobody gives a f And a new medical study plainly states that TV binge-watching leads to an early death. In other words, if you enjoy binge-watching The Walking Dead, you're basically the sitting dead. Hey, zombies, nobody gives a f Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo, Tuesdays and Thursdays for NSS Live.